My name's Naz, uh, I'm 30. Um, at the age of 19, I got involved with the wrong crowd. I could fight and I thought decided that this was the way forward for me, really. But once I got kicked out of school, um, I decided that I was going to go down the path of drugs and see what that brings me. For me, like I said, it was from the streets where I learned a lot of stuff and I learned that this was making me quick money, you know, for a young person. At that time, you know, I was making 150 quid to 200 pound a day, and that was on bud. And then when I was shown the ropes of heroin and, and class A drugs, that was it really, I just thought forget bud. I got arrested for, for possession with intent to supply class A drugs and uh, fire, firearm offence. Um, in court, what had happened is there was surveillance on us and the surveillance was on us for the last year and a half. No matter how clever I thought I was here, we were being we were walked into a surveillance on, on one of the uh, co-defendants. And then like I said, in 2003, I was sentenced to um, nine years in prison. Um, and I never thought I'd get that. The last year of my sentence, I started working for the Prince's Trust um, and I became the first ever serving prisoner to work for him. Um, working with young people, trying to get them to understand and I decided to do a presentation around prison and what the consequences were and what the effects were. Um, from there, I got pro, came out and I decided that, you know what, I'm coming back to my own area. At the time, like I said, I had this vision that a lot of these people were using some of the young ones, slapping them, beating them up, and it reminded me of how we were trying to get them into debt before they even start. I just decided, you know what, the only thing I can do to change it is try to get these kids away from it. To explain to them that the consequences of doing this, what will happen, no, you're not going to get a slap on the hand, no, you're not going to go walk away. This is going to cause you a lot of stress and your family a lot of stress. Um, so I decided to leave Princess Trust in 2009 and then I decided to set up a company which is called Consequence. Um, and using change through education. And how we do that is by going into schools, pupil referred units, and, and, and talking to young people and to try to explain to them the real life consequences of what choices can have. In 10 years time, believe it or not, I would like to have uh, my own prison. I believe the ones that are inside prison, the times that they're doing in there, it's wasted time, dead time as we class it. So why not use that time to benefit others, to be honest with you? Thank you for your time, Naz. How much you pay me? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? 500 pounds a year, that? So tight. <laughs>